the river doesn't have an advocate that's specifically for the river and you know it's it's a wild thing it can't say what's wrong and so we have to look out for it when the river goes really low it leaves wildlife kind of stranded and the current practices are just really hard on the river and are you know slowly degrading the quality of life and the quality of this river which is you know the upper Deschutes River is about one quarter of one percent of the rivers in the entire United States protected under the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act so it's pretty a pretty amazing resource. ODFW is here this year to help coordinate the efforts for rescuing the fish that are stranded as part of the drawdown of the river, part of our water management of the Deschutes River. And in order to move fish that are stranded, it's really hard to do it just as community citizens unless you have the help of one of the agencies with electroshocking. Some of the challenges with the river are just that it's used, it, it's relied on heavily for irrigation needs and it's a great river that has a high level of flow and the way we manage it right now is by having two reservoirs up above that, that primarily store water starting now until April of next year so that then they can release that water during the, the dry months of summer for irrigation. And so it causes extreme highs and extreme lows for the river, flowing up above 2,000 cubic feet per second in the summer and down as low at its drawout point at Wikiup as 23 cubic feet per second right now. And in the last 13 days, I think it is, the river has dropped 900 CFS. I mean, it's a huge drop for a river for an ecosystem to try to deal with on a yearly basis. Most of the people who live in Bend love the outdoors and love the wild spaces and are, if they understood what was going on, would want to help be a voice to help make this change.